Today on the channel, we've grabbed the papers, and with it comes Mr. Brody Lee in Unmatched Series 6 AEW Jazzwares. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another AEW Unmatched Series 6 unboxing and review. And today on the channel from AEW Unmatched Series 6 from Jazzwares, we've got Mr. Brody Lee in his suited attire here. But remember, for all your Mr. Brody Lee needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up Ringside Collectibles. Make sure you're using discount code KYLE to save yourself 10%. And these are hot off the truck, of course. From Ringside Collectibles, Ringside gets these things way earlier than everybody else. They pay that extra to ship them by plane instead of by boat. So you're paying, paying for that service fee, that convenience fee, and guess what? You're saving a ton of gas and a ton of time not having to try to track these down in the stores. If your stores are anything like mine, getting harder and harder to find AEW figures out there. They really are disappearing from the pegs, disappearing from the planograms. Uh, we'll see what ends up happening with some of the refreshes that go on with these planograms. I'm hoping AEW is added back to all of my stores and my local areas uh, we'll see what happens stay tuned for that in the friday figure hunting videos how about that cheap plug for those but of course we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel we're going to take a look at the packaging we're going to talk about it we're going to unbox it we're going to talk about it we're going to see where it goes from there we'll compare it to a brody lee later on in the video as well so let's check out the old unmatched series six mr brody lee very easily could have been a luminaries figure i would have liked it kind of if they would have saved it maybe for the next set as a luminary or save owen hart whatever they want to do here of course this is our first set i believe that we've had two of the wrestlers that have passed away in the series and that's what we got with owen hart and mr Brody lee in here but a very cool version of mr Brody lee one we definitely did need because he was in a suit a lot on tv as we know uh, so we got that finally here it'll be interesting to see what Brody lee figures we get in the future uh you know they've done a, quite a few of the looks i'm sure there's some variants on the suit you could probably get some darker suits as well i think he wear a gray suit i believe uh but maybe we'll get some of that i wouldn't be shocked to see that as some of the variants chase editions as well in the future uh but a cool one here and definitely one that was needed one that was definitely represented on tv a lot over the years we do get the papers all oh, watch out for the papers you get a microphone and of course the tnt title as well here so looking really good nice glamour shot there at the bottom unmatched right here number six this is series six he is number 46 in the unmatched wave and it looks like we got an A down at the bottom here. So, of course, that does spell out Owen Hart if you line up the boxes for those that uh, keep track of those things. On the back, there he is on the old microphone talking. We got the autograph up top, AEW logo. The big cross sell. Let's see what it says. Dynamite 722 2020 Jacksonville, Florida is what this was from. Mr. Brody Lee. Series 6 features Malachi Black, Santana Ortiz, Ruby Soho, Owen Hart in the luminaries position, and of course, Mr. Brody Lee. Watch AEW Dynamite and Rampage. Check local listings. And actually, I'm traveling this week as of filming this uh, on a Monday. I'm actually traveling this week, and I will be at the AEW Dynamite show Wednesday this week. Uh, so that should be a very interesting. I've never been to an AEW show, but I'm in town for work. What else am I going to do? Sit in my hotel room? Figure hunt? No, I'll walk down. I'll go to the old wrestling show. Oh, there you go. So we'll see what happens that full report i'm sure in the toy news and weekly purchases videos uh, on the channel later so make sure you do subscribe let's get old mr brody lee out of the package see what all the fuss is about see you later mr brody lee oh see you later goodbye plastic prison there he is looking good love the suit i'm here for it i'm here for it pull that out don't forget the papers gotta get the papers two types of papers oh come on microphone there it is. We haven't seen a microphone in a while, it feels like. And can I get him out? Jeez, there it is. See you later. Goodbye. All right, let's dive into all these accessories first. Man, I like this, though. Ooh, this looks good here. All right, let's dive in. We got the AEW microphone, the most used accessory. It makes a lot of sense, but we're getting it once again here. And once again, it makes sense to be with Brody Lee, so I like that. But we've seen this numerous times. So we don't need to talk about that too much. We do get the papers in two varieties of papers here. I really wish there was something written on here. Even if it was just like generic squiggly lines, something like that. Uh, just would bring home this a little bit more than it is 
this papers. Obviously, it looks like papers. It looks kind of like a phone book, honestly. But we would have loved to see some squiggly lines or something like that. But all about the reuse. We're going to see this. We've seen it before. We'll see it again. You guys know how that goes. I love the rolled up papers here, though. This is really cool. And this is great. And that's great as well for some figure photographers. If you want to put this with your Ninja Turtles, you want to put this with Marvel Legends, you could uh, put this with J. Jonah Jameson in the Marvel Legends department. You could do that. So you can definitely get use out of this outside of Brody Lee if you really wanted to. So I always do appreciate things like that. And then, of course, the old TNT title belt. TNT champion. There it is. Got the red strap against the gold. Very bright. Very noticeable, of course. We've seen a lot of different versions of this title belt. Good to get one here representing uh, Brody Lee's time as the champion. So we do got that off to the side. Now we dive into the figure here. And, man, this thing is awesome. Uh, of course, a lot of customizers love to customize suit figures. You pop this head on. You pop the head off and you can make this into anybody you really wanted to. I really like that idea. However, it doesn't really work here as this is such a big figure. As he was a big dude, there's not a lot of guys on the AEW roster that had his height. So if you throw an MJF head on here, obviously it'll work by itself. But if you try to compare it to somebody else, the height-wise isn't really going to work there. So uh, it's up to you and your customizing skills to make this work. But I really, really do like the looks of this suit. Very cool three-piece suit going on. You got the vest underneath. You got the tie uh, looking nice and black. Just very good looking suit on this. Very, very cool. Very dapper. That's what I'm going to say. A very dapper looking suit here. And it's crazy if you think of him as Luke Harper, you never thought of him ever wearing a suit. But then as Mr. Brody Lee, we've convinced ourselves he's always wearing suits, which he was. So very different uh, opinions there on his personalities between federations, we'll call it here. He does got a very uh, cool gripping hands, two of the same ones. You can kind of give that little suit thing where you're gripping the sides there. He can do that. That's probably how I will display him. No fists of fury, anything like that. He's not getting physical in this uh, suit. Suit's worth too much money to ruin, that's for sure. But definitely looks good. Articulation, arms going to go all the way around bicep cut single oh, double jointed elbows but unfortunately we do have the pin so not all the hits are being playing they're only playing one greatest hit it's at the end it's kind of like when i saw eric clapton back in like the 90s one time he just uh, didn't want to do an encore and that's kind of what jazzwares is doing uh to us here they don't want to do the encore they don't want to give us the pinless joints and the unmatched and unrivaled yet i think the day will come though hopefully it's 2023 we'll see what happens hands are removable so if you want to find hands in your fodder bin you could do that if you need to hula hoop at the top not tons of articulation you get the waist you can hear it once again kind of maybe not hear it i heard it a little bit and then it went away uh very interesting here happy to report no jack sticky disease or should we say AEW sticky disease uh possibilities in the future though i don't know will we have sticky plastic are they using some of the same factories some of the same ingredients there's only one way to find out there's only one guy that can get the job done whoever wonder if they're watching your every move cell phones internet surveillance think about it and of course that's the governor jesse ventura who can get down to these conspiracy theories when need be uh but hopefully this never gets sticky on us hopefully we're past those days but we'll see what happens uh very cool maroon color suit throughout all the way down to the pants you get the matching outfit Our legs go all the way up Oh, double jointed knees, very tight. You do get the boot cut, which is always weird on something like this. You do get a thigh cut, and then you get the boots back and forth, side to side. But I love the full matching suit. It's not like black pants with maroon top. It's just straight up maroon. Really does look good. Really sharp. Very much does pop. You get the head on this Brody Lee. I think this is reuse going on. You got the hair up in a bun in the back, the black hair, the big black beard. Definitely all day long. If you know who Brody Lee is, you get this to you. You're going to say, oh, that's Brody Lee. Or you might say it's Bruiser Brody. I guess you could be a little confused there, but we do got the other version right here, and I believe, like I thought, the exact same head. Getting the most out of your molds, guys. We've talked about it for years on the channel. They're doing that here, but it does feel different when you got these things going on. The different outfits really does feel different. Does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10%. Make sure you get the Jazzware stands for these. What do you know? Fits like a glove like he's supposed to, but definitely a tall, tall figure here. We compare him, I have Jericho right here. You can see that height difference right there. So if you pop Jericho's head on there, it's just really not going to work. He's just too tall. So unless you get a big show figure or something like that, I'm not sure exactly what you're going to do. But very cool to get suited figures. I hope we get some more suited figures in the future. They are really cool for customs and moving things around, things like that. But a very good representation of Brody Lee. I'd say it's the second one you need. You really need the wrestling version first, but then... I think everybody's fair with this. I'm okay with this, and I'm happy to see this in a, being released as part of the collection out there. So very fun, very cool. Re remembering Brody Lee after, uh, gosh, what's it been, like a, two years now, something like that? It just seems crazy. Seems just like yesterday, but as we always say here on the channel, what is 
is time? What is time? I don't know what it is. Uh, but Brody Lee looking good. But what are your guys' thoughts on Brody Lee here? Picking this one up? You want him just in wrestling? You need all of them? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, don't forget to like this video. You made it this far. You might as well. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. And then, of course, don't forget about the Patreon where you get early access to videos like this. Bonus content, exclusive content, giveaways, Q&As, pizza reviews, you name it. There's a lot more content going on in the old Patreon channel. And best of all, you do support the channel and all of its content by being a member of the Patreon. And you can also support the channel ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. Pick up a t-shirt. Got to get a deal out there. You get the got to get a deal t-shirt. There you go. Uh, but also don't forget to follow along on social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Mr. Brody Lee and Unmatched Series 6, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.